Uh, let me go ahead and uh, formally get you in here. Tyler in the building. From the great state of Minnesota. Home of my favorite casino up in Shakopee. What's good, man? <laughs> Well, I mean, I could definitely relate to, like, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Minnesota, best state. <laughs> Subway, you ever been to Minnesota? I, sh bruh, that's that's my state. I used to drive for a company called J&R Shrugal out, out of New Orleans, and then my favorite uh, casino is over there at Canterbury in uh, Shakopee. So, yeah, bruh, I, I, I've been up in the Minnesota plenty of times. Trying to get, well, uh, let me see, I'm trying to get back up there. Uh, Probably one of these months, man, but you, the winters is brutal, bro. I mean, you know, it's, yeah, I try to stay away from the winters. I I had a low that was coming back up the way, and my fleet manager called me up, and they was like, nah, bro, stay where you at. I was like, why? Nah, sure. yeah, you, you you won't be getting up here. You, you, you'll get up here, but you're definitely not getting out. I was like, God damn. Plus, well, uh, now's as good of a time as any. It's like 75 out right now. It's bright and sunny. So, like, right now, this month, next couple months, that's the time to do it. That's the time. You you exactly right, bro. That is the time to do it, man. Plus, of course, Minnesota, Minneapolis, Minnesota is the home of uh, Prince. May he rest in peace. Y'all, the bridge over there was renamed into, you know, renamed uh, in his honor. You know, that bridge that uh collapsed way back in the day. So yeah. Thirty uh, five W. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So so yeah, Tyler, man. So let's let's just jump right into it, man. What's 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 going on with Amazon, man? I mean, uh like how long you been how long you been working there and when did the trouble all started prior to the walkout? Amazon protest. Story time. Lots of people are asking for a story time. Uh, I was there. Even though the original video wasn't mine, I can give you a story time. Now, um, this most recent Friday at my Amazon warehouse, we had a walk-off in Shakopee, Minnesota, MSP1. Now, this wasn't our first walk-off. We've had a lot of walk-offs over the years. Uh, I've been there four and a half years now, but specifically last Friday, we had two demands we were walking out for. The first one was reinstating, bringing back a $3 an hour raise for all workers on all shifts. And the second one was to not penalize workers who wanted to take time off to see their families for eat, which is basically like Muslim Christmas. Two demands. Pretty simple. Now, something that's important to know context-wise, Amazon has a policy where of all of your different types of time off, put them into one pool. If you run out, you're terminated. You're fired. Now, for people who want to see their families for Eid, or even you know, for us trying to walk off, Amazon forces people to, to use their time off, which pushes them closer to being fired. Seems kind of shitty, doesn't it? For me, you know, for my family, Christmas, the whole warehouse is shut down. I never have to worry about it. I, and on night shift, I get Christmas E off and Christmas Day. But for my, so like half of my coworkers, they don't get that. And in years past, Amazon has made an accommodation of giving people time off that doesn't count against their balances and thus doesn't push them closer to being fired. They didn't do that this year, which is really a very easy minimum they should be doing. Now for the $3 an hour, inflation, you know, food, gas, rent, the prices for all of those things goes up, especially rent. I've never had my rent go down. That just doesn't happen. And the fact that all of Amazon's competitors are now paying more than them, that the, and they have not raised wages, and there are other specific issues with Amazon's pay system, um, but honestly, they can do far better. They were doing better until like a month ago when they cut our pay, which is the immediate cause for the walk-off. Now there's limited time and only one TikTok video, but I was one of the organizers of the walk-off, helping gather people, getting people out the door and setting things up. So if you have any questions, any kind of questions regarding the walk-off and related things, ask me, just ask in the comments and I'll answer pretty much any and all of you that I can. So 
Go for it. I've been working there, uh, the big old warehouse in Shakopee at Amazon for almost five years now. Um, and Amazon just loves shooting itself in the foot. Like, it can't go two weeks without doing something really stupid, like, consistently for years. So, like, this most recent walkout, the one that was, you know, on TikTok and, like, mm-hmm. floating around on the internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, for five months in my building on night shift, there was a $3 an hour raise that we had. Okay. And everyone sees, you know, the price of food, gas, housing. You know, it only goes in one direction. It goes up. Exactly. And at the time that paying for everything is taking more money out of our pocket, Amazon decided it would be a, you know, a good idea valuing their workers to reduce our pay. So, you know, naturally we took exception to that. And it only took like a month or so to, of uh, talking with managers and leadership, them, you know, being vague, hey, we'll do a wage review, which doesn't really mean anything. And basically me and a handful of other people, different departments and such, in less than a week, about what, four days, we just threw together the walkout and it just happened. Now, see, let me... See, this is this is the type of 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 togetherness, the unionists that that us truckers don't see, man. You know, if if one person sees a problem and they and they gather a lot of people together, we all got to unite for one front. And I see that that all of you guys, all of you guys was on the same page. Was there anybody that was in there that just said, no, nah, I'm going to stay behind because I don't want to get in trouble and this, that, and the third. Do you have a handful of those type of people there? So where I work, like so many of my coworkers have immigrated to the U.S. recently from different places. Like so, some people I've talked to le- legit, like a month ago, they, they just got here. And there's absolutely not everyone is, you know, comfortable, at least right away, you know, especially doing a big action like a walkout because we were, you know, gone. The whole place basically got shut down for like 10 hours. But honestly, as long as people are understanding and at least starting sort of that process of teaching people, communicating to people and like helping people understand that you have like rights in your workplace. Like, just like we have a bill of rights, you know, freedom of speech, religion, petition and stuff, like, in general, in our society, we have a bill of rights for work. You know, it's called the National Labor Relations Act. So for any workers, when you want to work together with, you know, other people with you to improve your compensation, to improve your working conditions, you got problems at work, you want to try and fix them, you're protected under federal law. And that's not something they teach you. Like, I didn't learn that in high school physics, even though I love, like, physics and history and stuff. They never taught that. And especially, you know, so many of my coworkers who are coming to America to, you know, have a family, to have a better life. It's not like they teach you that. You're not required to know that for, you know, a citizenship test or anything. And just telling people that and explaining that to them does a lot of good. Tyler, man, how how did you become the face of all this like how how i mean how did you come like what what you do you just took time out to to study up on on all this stuff that's going on so the only reason why i am kind of a face of things is because i'm stubborn and amazon knows that they cannot intimidate me those are probably the biggest two things like i've been there like for five years the, the building's only been open six. I, I might as well be an old man walking around with a cane. And just seeing the stupid stuff that, or the like not okay stuff happening all the time and being annoyed and frustrated by it and saying, hey, like, we should fix this. And being stubborn enough to stick it out to actually, you know, do things and like put in the work consistently, uh, people just know they can rely on me. And at this point, nothing that Amazon or any manager could really do or say is going to, you know, like, oh, you know, I better pipe down, not do stuff, better not, you know, talk to the news or whatever. Like, I don't care. You know, I know what my rights are, and if they want to screw with me, then they're going to make that their own problem really fast. 
So, like, if I can stick my neck out to help, you know, give my coworkers a little more coverage, have them be a little bit more comfortable, you know, organizing and participating, I'll do that any day, you know? Okay, okay. That's what's up, man. All right, so five years in, uh, Amazon, y'all did the walkout. Where where are y'all at right now? What's the you know, what's the situation that's going on right now? Y'all y'all still out, y'all came to the table. What's uh what's 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 Amazon doing to uh you know to get you guys back on the floor? So right now there's there's a bunch of different things going on. Um like you gotta juggle a lot of things, you know, walk and chew gum and some other things at the same time. And so one of the big things that we've been focusing on, there's a lot of things, you know, trying to get the $3 an hour raise. Now when we walked out, Amazon is trying to force everyone to use their time off balance to cover it. Ooh, which let, is a problem. Let, let me, hold on. Let me ask you that very quick because I, I talked to a few people that, uh, that, you know, that work for Amazon and, you know, I'm still trying to wrap my head around some of the, some of the policies which i heard through the grapevine that amazon is real strict on so the 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 point policy right uh a half a point for calling off if you get like so many points you get fired instantly regardless of of your situation i mean is that true yes and the problem is well so there's a point system Different places, different like classifications of workers, because Amazon loves to misclassify workers, will have either like a point system or uh, my warehouse's case, as of right now, uh, we have time off balances. You might have, you know, a pool of unpaid time off, paid time off, uh, and vacation, and they have different strings attached. Like vacation, you have to put in 24 hours ahead of time, you cannot use it during blackout periods. Um, Unpaid time off, you can only use in one hour increment. So if you're, you know, seven minutes late to a shift, if you use your unpaid time, it takes an hour. Oh. So like, there's some strings attached to them and that you have to be very conscious of how you use them. But if you run out, you're gone. Like, you're fired. If you run out of time off balances. And, like, it's one thing, which is probably not legal, to force workers to use time off to cover, you know, oh, you were gone for 10 hours on a strike. You know, you must use your time off for it. Like that by itself, I'm pretty sure it's illegal. But Amazon has a policy that is drilled through people's heads from day one, which is if you run up to, out of time off, you are fired. How so is, like if you walk off, they can't fire you. But if you add a step, how is that supposed to make that legal? How is the how is the orientation there? Like when you first when you first got there, like you, you was in orientation. Like, what was, what was the uh, stipulations and the policies and all that stuff? What, what was that talk about? If, if, if you can uh, comment on it. Uh, at Amazon orientation is hit or miss. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll get a good setup. You'll be taught what you need to know. But also, people fall through the cracks all the time, so it really depends. Wow. So you say uh so you say that Amazon is a relatively new building, uh about five years, uh five years in. Uh what was what was there before Amazon to uh took it? Or was that like a brand new building built from the ground up? Uh I think it was just land. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The Shakopee is kind of out from the central city. Nice town, by the way. <laughs> like I said, my favorite casino is right there at uh, Canterbury, so I I love it. I love going there. Uh, uh, huh. You know, it's like a little homey feel type of uh, type of city. All right, all right. So wow. So they they trying to, I guess they trying to either force you guys back to work or force you guys to use your your unpaid time off. <laughs> Yeah, at this point, yeah. it's like they want to convince people that they need a union. So, so all right, sorry about that. Uh, truck on the side of me had a had a major blowout. Want to make sure he's. But okay. would would getting a union would be something that you guys look into going into the future? 
well, what choice has Amazon really left us? Mm. You think they're just going to pay people more voluntarily mm. or just staff appropriately, you know, of their own free will? Because they haven't so far. Exactly. In the, the five years I've been there, they have never adequately adjusted wages for inflation. Like, they don't need to outright lower people's wages. They just keep them the same as the price of everything goes up. So they, they cut our wages. Lots of years, we never even get wage increases, like small increases, let alone ones that are enough to keep up with inflation. So, like, we already know what they want. They want us to do more for less money. You know, that's what most companies want to do. More workload, less pay. That way they keep more of the money for themselves. Right. Yeah. And that's why, honestly, most people, most workplaces, we need unions. Well, Tyler, man, thank you for stepping up in the building, man. I really do appreciate you coming on the uh, Lockout Man podcast show and uh, spreading a little light about what's going on uh, with the uh, walkout. Um, again, um, are are you guys are you guys back to work, or do you got plans going oh, yeah, back? To- we're, we're back to work. Oh, because okay. With the, the whole un- the time off thing not resolved, like. Originally, like people, we were talking about, hey, like doing, you know, three days, doing four days, doing like three more people are comfortable. A lot of people like, let's stay, let's keep going. But people can't, like, if it's going to get them fired, you know, like Amazon likes keeping that ambiguity, you know, to sort of scare and intimidate workers with plausible deniability. So that's one of the things. And we're probably going to have to file a uh, unfair labor practice because they, they can't just keep getting away with that. What is what is Amazon? Well, up there since you've been there for five years, what's have you have you noticed their turnover policy? What's what's their what's their turnover rate there? You know, <laughs> literally over a hundred percent. Jesus Christ! Yeah, there's been a lot of people who cycle through. Wow, man! I and you know I was. I, I was pushing Amazon as one of the top tier companies to drive, uh, not well to drive for, of course, and one of the top tier companies to to work for because you know I I got some I got some uh you know some people that that's you know they couldn't get their CDL and I'd be like yo why don't you go and uh try working for Walmart you know and and then a couple of people went in there they was like nah bro nah bro we we can't do no we, we I mean not Walmart uh Amazon. He was like, "No, nah, bro, we can't do that. Nah, we you you gotta be you gotta be strong will in mind in order to in order to uh in order to rock out at uh Amazon." Tyler, man, again, thank you very much for coming up in here, guys. You know that the best conversation starts here on the Lockout Men Podcast Show. If you guys want to get in on the conversation, you know what to do. Hit me up two one six six zero zero two zero nine zero. And why don't and while you at it, why don't you do the HBO special? That's help a brother out by hitting that like button, subscribe button, and the new thank you button for support of the channel. My man Tyler, again, thank you very much, bro. You are a citizen, and uh, we'll get together on the next go around, bro.